Hey, it's Joel, 3D printing nerd, but we're gonna do something a little different today. We're gonna do a project with the laser cutter. And the laser cutter that I have is the Full Spectrum Muse. It's a 45 watt CO2 laser with a 20 inch by 12 inch cutting area. And it's been working okay. The hardware's great, the software, uh, it's got some bugs, but I've been able to work through those. And for this, I wanted to create something for my dad for Father's Day. And you can see that I have some wood stains on the desk. And that's because I'm going to cut something out of wood. I picked up quarter inch birch plywood. And the idea is simple. I want to have a, uh, a not a picture, but you know, some, some words and some graphics. I want to embellish that or carve it into the wood with the laser. And then I want to cut out shapes and stain it. What's cool with laser cutters is you can prototype your designs using cardboard, cheap and fast. And so this is what I came up with. So you can see it says Bampa. And there's a hammer, there's a pencil, and there's a baseball. My kids have called my dad Bampa ever since they learned how to talk. And then each of the kids got to pick a different little graphic to put under the name. And so uh, Sid picked a hammer because my dad likes to build stuff. Riley picked a pencil because my dad loves to draw stuff. And David picked a baseball because my dad likes to play catch and, and uh, he likes sports. So the fit is good on this and uh, I, it looks good on the cardboard. So all I had to do then was a test on wood. And so I, I did it smaller just to see how it would work. I cut this piece. Uh, this was this is a little piece of the birch and I, I cut it out. Uh, I didn't have my laser power <laughs> correct, which is why it didn't cut out this side, but you can see it says Bampa and you can see it has the three icons and then you can see the border. So this served a couple different purposes. Uh, for this one, I used uh, this wood stain right here. It didn't really stain the wood so much as it just kind of made it look a little shimmery, a little shiny, made it look kind of wet. For this one, I tried two different stains. On one side is the Kona, and on the other side is something called Red Cherry, I think. In fact, let's check. Let's make sure I'm not lying to you here. Black Cherry. Black Cherry. So Black Cherry's over here. Kona's over here. The kids and my wife and I, we liked the Red Cherry better. So now we had the color of the border that we wanted, and I, I have this. Now we just need to blow it up real big and cut it out on the laser. The lasering was easy for the raster pass. I had speed sent to 75%, 100% power, just one pass. For the cut itself, I believe I had speed set to 15 to, or 20% and 100% power to get through the quarter inch birch plywood. Now you can see me scraping off the blue tape. And the reason we put blue tape on the wood or acrylic when we're doing a, a laser engrave or a laser cut is because the blue tape keeps the edges clean when you're actually using a laser and you're engraving or you're cutting the edges get marred or burnt or or they just get embellished a bit when you're when you're doing stuff and so the tape actually keeps that ickiness from getting on the wood or the acrylic and makes it go on the tape so when you take off the tape your wood is clean Yes, I am sanding this, even though I did put the blue tape down, and that's because I wanted to freshen up the top of this piece. It's plywood, it's been moved around, it's been transported. I just wanted a nice, fresh, clean top layer for the stain to go down onto. At this point, it was time for me to put on the stain, and I'm gonna be honest with you, in all my life, this is the first time I've actually stained any wood, so I hope I did it correct. I used an old T-shirt to rub stain on the pieces, and once, it sat there for a few seconds. I used another piece of the old t-shirt to wipe it away. I did the natural on the big Bampa piece and that turned out great. I did the black cherry on the border and that too turned out great. And for my first time, I think, I think I did a good job. To attach the main piece to the border, I just used some Loctite super glue, their G02 or G02 glue. And that said it was for wood, as well. So I just put a thick bead around where the frame was going to attach to the main piece and then I pressed it down. Once the glue was dry and the frame was firmly stuck to the main piece, I got out my orbital spindle sander to sand the edges and clean it up. 
The last piece of the puzzle was a coat of polyurethane just to protect the wood and the stain and make sure it lasts a while. Uh, this polyurethane is a matte coat, so it shouldn't be glossy. It should just provide protection and let the natural colors of the stains and the woods and everything come through. And it did. Once it was applied and once I saw it with my own eyes, it just looked perfect. We're all done. And here it is. This is the sign. Look at that. I'm looking in the, the monitor here. It looks glorious. Wow. So the... The, the Bampa, there's the, the three icons, here's the border. The border's been stained in that black cherry. This has been stained in natural wood. And then I did happen to throw that coat of poly on there. So that's good. Uh, another interesting fun fact, the spindle sander, the oscillating spindle sander that you saw, my dad got that for me for Christmas years ago. And I just didn't have the space, I didn't have the time to take it out of the box, I didn't have a project that called for it. This called for it. And so years later, I finally got it out of the box. So. This is it. This is it right here. Hey dad, happy Father's Day. Well that was a fun project. I really, really enjoyed doing that. And uh, I'm getting back to my, my maker roots, so to speak. I, I, I don't just love 3D printing. I love all the different ways of making and collaborating and repurposing and reusing. It's just a bunch of fun. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have a laser cutter, I'd love to hear about some of the cool projects you've made for others. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified when cool stuff comes about. Hey, for everyone that watches the ads, thanks for watching them all the way through. That supports the channel. For everybody that supports me on Patreon, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Finally, don't forget to hug each other more because I love you guys. As always, high five.